Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some motorbike things. Might take some unnecessary stuff off this motorbike because at the moment all I'm doing is riding trails in my house and I don't really need some of the things that are on here so I can probably save a bit of weight and make it look a bit better. The other day I took the muffler off the motorbike just to see what it sounds like and I realised how heavy the actual muffler is. It probably weighs about 5 kilos and the motorbike sounds pretty sick so I reckon I might run it without it for a bit but then I'll probably put it back on or get like an aftermarket muffler thing for it because you can get them. But I'll start up and show you guys what it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds pretty sick in person. I don't know what it'll sound like on the camera. Anyway, I'm gonna take off a couple of things like I said. I don't really need these foot pegs for the second person. I don't plan on carrying anyone at the moment, so might as well take them off for now. Save a bit of weight and it should look a bit cleaner with that. Next up, I'm going to take these little handles off. Don't really need them on there for now. These basically weigh nothing, so it wouldn't have even really matter if I kept them on. It does look a bit cleaner though without them. So next up, I'm going to take the little toolbox off. It would be pretty handy to have if you go on, on really long rides out in the middle of nowhere because it does hold a fair bit of tools. I think this is like the original kit it came with, so it's got a fair bit of stuff in it. But I'm going to take it off because I only ride not that far from where I live. So now I'm going to take this little chain guard off. I'm guessing the purpose for that would be to protect the passenger's clothes so they don't get caught up in the chain or anything. I don't think it will save much weight because it's only plastic but it might look a bit cleaner without it. I wouldn't mind making this a bit tidier because I really don't like this. Like just a little LED here instead of this big thing. That'll probably be in the future or I just might not even bother. So just off camera I decided to take like the tail light and number plate assembly off and it looks so much better. It'd be so sick if I could just put like a LED on the back here. So I went in and got this stop tail lamp. Um, should be pretty good. I would have liked it if I could have got a bit of a smaller one, but it should do the job anyway. It doesn't look too bad. It would have been better if it was a bit smaller there, but all good. So the white wire is the earth wire, so that goes to the black. And then I've got to work out the other two, so one's for the stop light and one's for the tail light. So I'm pretty sure the blue light is a tail light, so that goes to the brown one. I just gotta test it out before I actually connect it up properly. And that means the red is the yellow. Hopefully that's right. See what happens. So there we go, the tail light's working. And then it's beautiful. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it works. Just gotta um, wire it up properly now. So this is where I'm gonna put the light. It'll cover up this thing, so that'll be good. And then I'll have to put a bolt and nut through here to hold it to the frame. Just gonna use these screws here, they should do the job. So I use bolt connectors to connect to the factory harness so I can always swap back to the original one pretty easy. It is a bit bulky but compared to this big thing hanging off the back, I think it's a bit of an improvement. So anyway, I think the boys want me to come riding so might as well go join them. The bike is definitely looking a bit better now. I can look sick. 
For the next mods for the bike, I'll probably get some new tires, actual dirt ones. These are like road dirt ones, so they're not the best in the sandy conditions we usually have, but just got a whole heap of rain, so it should be nice. Gonna get some bigger foot pegs, because these ones are just tiny. Probably get a aftermarket muffler thing for it. I thought I'd come out to a track and um, make it a bit better since we got some rain. Dirt should be nice and wet and easy to dig. So I'm just working on this berm at the moment. It's just completely like broken down so I'm going to build it back up again. a bit of progress stacking the berm up starting to take shape i just need to make it a bit bigger i'm going to go around it a few times just to keep getting the shape of it better and then that'll probably be it because i'll run out of daylight it sucks because it's no longer daylight savings anymore don't have that much time <laughs> back here again I'm gonna continue making the berm bigger the dirt's kind of dried out a bit so that kind of sucks but anyway might as well finish it off So the berm's coming along quite nicely now and now all I've got to do is just finish this end part here. I might ride it a bit because it's starting to get dark and then I'll keep digging until it gets fully dark. <laughs> again today. It's so dry out there I thought I'd get my ute out and chuck a tank in the back and I got a little water set up happening. I don't like have a hose or anything for here so I just found this metal pipe that fits over it and then I can just grab watering cans and fill them up. Pretty sick to have my ute out again. I probably haven't had it out for like three months. Just made it out here. I've already got hardly any daylight. Looks like a couple of people have been walking on it and I'm surprised how many people actually come here. I just seen like a car up there and some people walking through here and that. So might not be the best spot actually. I didn't realize so many people come out here. Might as well keep going. Gonna chuck some water on it at least and probably finish that last little bit off. Let's go and dump all the water onto it now and then probably come back tomorrow and finish it off. All right, so it's the next day and it looks like people have been walking on it and trying to ride it on their push bikes. There's that many other things out here they could be riding on, but of course they picked the thing that I'm trying to build. It's so annoying. At least the dirt's nice to work with. You can actually compact it and all that. The 
berm's looking pretty nice now. I didn't like it how it was before, it wasn't steep enough. The berm's looking really sick now, it's pretty much done. I think that time lapse might have cut out, but Nathan's here and he helped me finish the end off. It's looking pretty sick now. Today I should be able to get the berm completely finished. We had a good session on it last night as you can see. I'm really happy with how it feels. I just got to build this end bit up again and compact it nicely because we kind of like pushed it out. But it was so fun riding. Unfortunately though there was a lady that came through and she wasn't too impressed. But I think she was a bit annoyed because she thought we built the whole track just recently and destroyed like the bushland. But it's been like this ever since I've been alive. All I don't is fixing it up again. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Once we explained it to her, she seemed okay, but at first she was waving her arms and had her phone out and that. <laughs> So the berm's all finished now. I could get it looking even better, but I don't want to spend too much time on something that might get knocked down or whatever, and it's only going to be for motorbikes, so it'll get torn up anyway. I just want the back to go hard, so at least it'll hold up a little bit. <laughs> So I've just been cutting laps and then hitting the berm slow. It's starting to go really hard. It's just this end bit that I fixed up today, still a bit soft. But anyway, I might have a bit of a session on this jump. I've been doing some one foot cans and thought I might try a no foot can. <laughs> That was pretty sick, I did like a little one. It's not bad for how mellow this jump is. Doesn't really kick you at all. But once I get on to building this jump, I'll make it nice and steep and it'll be good for like doing little tricks and that. At the moment, it's just that mellow. You shoot just so flat. <laughs> Pretty stoked on how the berm turned out and also how my motorbike turned out when I took a few things off it and changed the brake light up. This place has a lot of potential and I'm gonna keep fixing it up I reckon. Next up I'm gonna build a jump here and there's like a ditch just here so I'll put the up ramp back here and then you jump into the ditch and then you jump out so that's what I'm planning on building next out here. As well as fixing things up, what I want to do is change the track because basically at the moment it's just like a big oval or whatever. You start here where the berm is, go through there, go around, and basically you just go around. There is these sections through the middle and that, and what I want to do is link them in and make the track um, actually use them. But I've got to work out how I'm going to do it yet. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.